Hello and welcome back to Tharik Place Mall Time, City of the Damned. Well, the last mission was a little bit of a downer. <laughs> um, two of ours died. For one, uh, Petra von Schenk II. We hardly knew her. <laughs> and also, Ada died, which is not nice. Not at all. So, yeah. Uh, if you remember the end of the last episode, I took a look at the hired swords, but the ones we could buy and I would be maybe interested in buying have some permanent injuries I don't want to have. So we won't buy them. And that means that today we are going to go with basically our biggest warband ever. So all of the high rank ones uh, because I don't think I can I want to go with Varen today uh, she's only rank 2 and I'm really not sure and Matilda is still injured so yeah we will be taking out our strongest warband I would like to have a good experience today and hopefully with them we can get that it will be harder of course but at least we will have a very good warband on our hand, on our side. <clears throat> and I actually should go back real quick and make sure that we are wearing the purple armor that we have left over. And is there purple light armor I should put on anyone. You're wearing blue white armor, well, blue armor, so it's, but it's warrior, so we probably want to put that on a novice. Yep, so let's switch these out. Okay, and now we can take a look. <coughs> so we've got a brutal mission with good word stone. A hard mission with poor wordstone and a normal mission with average wordstone. Let's send a scout. And I think we'll do that one. The setup is really good. Crush their will is very unlikely. But it's good wordstone and it's only a hard mission. And I think I, I want to take it easy for a mission. I, I said that before, but uh, then we had two very bad things happen in short order I don't know so maybe the game's telling me I should go higher but I, don't, I really don't know so let's do this hard one and hope for the best at least the deployment will be a good one for us so we'll be right back with the deployment and here we are so let's take a look we are playing against a chaos warband apparently and let's see how big is the map it's bigger than what we're used to by now <laughs> the last ones were rather small so let's mark a little bit of wordstone um, so one of the only positive things I can think of is that we actually managed to fulfill our shipment request which was rather big. Uh, yeah, I think it's okay to set up in this building, basically. Okay. And I mean, we can just focus on this building mostly. I think that should be fine. Um, yeah, but probably on the ground with Lutmilla, we don't want to be boxed in. Okay, that should work fine. <clears throat> and let's set up the rest uh, close to the wagon, I think. Or maybe, yeah, let's put Seraphim right here. She, hopefully we can cross through this somewhere. Looks like we should be able to. And then we can grab that word stone. Let's mark that. We don't have a marker left. Okay. Uh, but that's okay. 
And yeah, let's... we can leave Kate up there, that's not a problem. Uh, she will act so late that it won't matter anyways. Okay, and we have that weird glitch again, that number three in the... now number two in the initiative ladder is not really visible. I think that will turn out to be a possessed, so the guys with the bracers, I don't know if they're called possessed. I think so. The mutant looking guys, basically, because I think it it was almost always one of them when we had this uh, bug, if we can call it that. So we'll see. It shouldn't be a demon, because demons are yellow, and I think they are yellow right from the beginning, and you should see what they are right from the beginning. Let's see, since we're going first with Narondia, we probably want to go look for that word stone. And it's not on the ground floor, so we should go up one. And this is probably... okay, we need to go up even higher, really, again. I... nope, it's on the other side of this. And I think it's... I, I heard the discussion somewhere, I, I don't remember where. It's a weird cultural thing, I think, in Europe. The floor... the first floor, basically, is the ground floor, because it's on the ground. And over there, up... Uh, over that is the first floor. But as far as I know, in America, at least, it the ground floor is the first floor, and the first floor up would be the second floor. I don't know why that is. That is uh, both make sense in a way. Um, I just I, I think that's interesting for some reason. <laughs> and yeah, that was a small part of trivia. I don't know. Okay, so they will be setting up around here and probably in this building if we get to set up in a building they most likely i assume they should be able to as well uh, but other than that uh, yeah let's we will just make a careful approach and see what we can see basically so we probably want to move Lutmilla somewhere around this way so if they come this way we should be able to get on the high ground it's unlikely that it this will work right away but maybe in the later turns we'll see later set up along this path and overwatch just in case <coughs> And I want to talk a little bit about the last mission. I think our main problem was that I overestimated or underestimated the speed of the Skaven again. Um, they are just so fast and I mean their strategy points, not necessarily their their uh, movement in, or their initiative. But for one, their strategy points and their overall movement range because I think there are just faster, so they have one or two more meters in movement in general than we do. So they could reach us a lot faster and easier than I thought they could, and that cost two of ours their lives, basically, because they could just swarm us. So I defended pretty poorly there, and I hope I will not make that same mistake again, uh, because that was really dumb of me. Okay, let's see. Is it... yeah, okay, it's at least a shard. And then I will try to go for this one next, I think, even though it's in a building. We'll see. And I think we can afford to keep her back here. They won't be able to reach us, and we can act from very far away. So that should help us. I think. And where do we want to go? So it's right there, but we need to get inside somehow, and there's a breach. 
And there's a breach, so I think let's go over this way. <clears throat> Oh, Nabrienda is now actually... Oh, hello, Warp Enfeeblement. That's always a good start. So, minus 25% melee damage. And the Disorienting Veil. So, minus Dodge and Parry. We are getting all the nice things now. But it looks like we will be fine for now. Let's zoom out again. Uh, unfortunately, the traps cut our movement a little bit short, so we won't be able to reach that cluster. There's not much we can do about that. <laughs> and let's see, Keita. Yeah, she will just move forward. <clears throat> and it's pretty obvious that I want to go along these lines. Um, and we'll have to decide where we want to engage once we actually see them. It might be that they will go through buildings, so we will see them rather late. Okay. Um, so, that direction. And aside from Seraphim, I'm trying to keep everyone pretty close together. A new round has started. Um, yeah, so they've got four going first. I don't know, will we see their impressive this match? And if so, how bad can it be? <laughs> the last time we were on a map like this, I think it was practically this map but we were down there and they were up here their impressive got stuck back here somewhere or on a similar map so that might happen again i don't know we'll have to wait and see about that Okay, let's get that <clears throat> wordstone and see what we get. A shard, that's okay. And we're basically next to our uh, the rest of our warband, so that's good. She won't be able to reach the sh uh, the cluster. That's the word. <laughs> as well, so we will have to do that with someone else, but we will be able to do that this turn, of course. And maybe we want to go over there. But I'm not completely sure. Let's mark this for Seraphim. So that it's easier for us. I hope it's on the ground floor, but if it's not, uh, we will see that e easier. Okay, so their morale is lower than ours already, which should make things a little bit easier. So that's good. Can we reach? We cannot, because we're really, really slow. So, do we see anyone? We do not. Um, yeah, let's put ourselves right here and ambush. And with Lutmilla, we, well, we might as well climb up here, I think. 95% should be good enough and will save us one or two movement points.
So there is Wordstone somewhere, but apparently it's on the ground floor. Yep, it's down there. So let's move down on this side again. And we still don't see anyone, interestingly enough. I don't know if I want to put her that far ahead, though. We probably want to go for this one. Okay, that's a cluster. Nice. <clears throat> Let's see where we go next. Maybe we just hide. Um, oh, we can actually get reasonable distance back. That's pretty good. So let's set up an overwatch right here. It's a bit disturbing that we don't see them yet, so I assume they're somewhere around this building. Uh, that's my first assumption, considering that we don't see them yet. And we're just moving everyone up, of course. So these first two or three rounds, <laughs> it's not too exciting, probably. But I still like leaving all this stuff in. I hope you're all okay with this. Okay, nice, it's down here. Okay. What is it? Another shot. Okay, so at least not a fragment. I would feel a little bit dumb if we went for fragments, but... Well, it's actually not that bad, but... If we can avoid the fragment, we should. Or we shouldn't necessarily go for them, because it's they're not worth that much. So where do we want to go with her? Um... It's probably okay to leave her like this for now. And then we can decide next turn. Okay, let's move over here. And still we don't see anyone. This is really surprising. Still nothing. So they are all over this way? I assume? This is weird, freaking me out a little bit at the moment. <laughs> In the last missions, we were all right on top of each other, and now I don't see anything. That's not... doesn't bode well. So... Big question is, when will we see them? At least at the moment we're getting a lot of good work done. And I like that a lot. But it's still a bit unnerving. Oh, of course. I saw that and I still ran into it. Okay, minus initiative. That's not good, but it could be worse. Yep, no vision at all. And I actually want to remove these. We don't need them anymore. Uh, we could mark these, though, if we want. And I really don't know where I should go at the moment. Probably in, we should stay near to Keita. She's still our... Well, I don't know if she's still our weakest link, but she is a weak link because she's lower rank than everyone else. But she's wearing heavy armor, so she's not that quick to drop. A new round Probably. Has started. You never know. And I think we, we should find 
the, this turn there. Oh, of course. Okay. And even though it's unfortunate that the pathing worked this way, I'm actually really happy that their impressive got stuck there. But they know now where we are. There's their leader. And he charges. Oh, come on. I should check the percentages of the um, of the counterattacks because I think there are worse. Eighty nine is still pretty good, so that was a really unfortunate miss. But at least we are getting a lot of counterattacks, and we will probably nope not get another one. Okay, now Seraphim is really out of the way. But I think we should be able to move her into range to at least cast a few comments. <clears throat> so the impressive is right in our face, but maybe we want to take take it on. We'll see. We will focus on their leader for now. Um, I think that's a good idea. We won't be able to dodge anyway, so let's go here. I should probably attack normally first. And then we can vital strike. Okay. So are these to it or will the rest come here as well? So they were probably right behind this building and then they came over then they ran over this way. So we can remove these probably again. We won't need them anymore. Or most likely, I think, but we we know where it is, so it's it's fine. And I just it's too far away. It would take us so many turns to get that. It's just not reasonable to try, I think. Okay, can we... And these are all the ones that I should probably put on the impressive, but I don't really want to. Okay, there's a dark soul back there. But that's okay. Uh, so can I get around here? Yep. And if we can take down their leader right away, that would be really nice. But I think we should be able to pretty easily. And I was confident in the last mission when we got that early takedown. But I botched the remaining setup so drastically and got pulled in by that big pile of wordstone. I really should not prioritize wordstone that much when I don't have to because it's really dangerous to do that okay let's stay back here and we will actually start shooting the impressive maybe we can get a crit no we miss a 95% shot apparently okay how's that for logic Okay, so he's got careful approach and all the fun stuff, so he will aim instead of going for an impact shot. Okay, one hit. Better than nothing. And then we can dodge. The problem is our impressive is still hampered, I think, from the... from the Is hampered the right word? Does it mean what I think it means? Please tell me. <laughs> we don't want to put our normal sisters on the impressive. I think what I wanted to say, she's still under the effect of negative wor uh, of wordstone, so that could be a problem. Okay, let's. We can't dodge again, so we might as well go all the way around, and as Morjex would say, the clown card. Um, Righteous Fury probably won't be of consequence here. So let's just go for the straight up attacks. And the next one or two will be it, basically. And that should do it. Okay, nice. So 
So let's take these. And she can actually block, but I don't know, do we want to engage that impressive? I really don't think so, but we might not have a choice. Let's ambush right here. Because we most likely won't get a use of out of, uh, out of the... Out of the... What's the word I'm looking for once again? Out of the block. <laughs> because... If we get attacked by the Impressive, he will just bypass it. Okay, let's see. How can we get there best and be in range to do something? Not like this. So I hope you understand that I will backtrack and try to find a better way. Maybe if we go this way... It will be better. I could jump down, but that would leave me with not enough movement as well. So, actually... Let's do this and go a little bit further around. I just need a vision of that thing. But we can't make it, I think. And that's really unfortunate. Let's try one more time. <laughs> maybe third time's the charm. So maybe if we go like this after all, we can do this. And then a jump down. This basically locks us in with our movement, but it might be enough. Okay, unfortunately, not quite. So let's go back here and actually delay. Maybe that last Dark Soul will... Oh, we will be. We will act before him, so that won't help us. Okay, what do we want to do? We want to use Sigma's Might to buff us all up. And then I don't want to engage with Kete. So we will move her back a little bit. Because she's the most beat up, they might try to focus on her. And let's parry on top of it. The impressive should be intercepted before she can reach us. So, do we want to go on the impressive? I think we kind of have to. Our dodge chance is bad, we have reduced melee damage, but it's right there. We don't really have that big of a choice. He might get stuck again, but we can't count on that. So let's see, does he get his charge? Apparently he does not. So let's attack him. Terror test, success, okay. So we do get our two attacks, but they are pretty bad. Nice. And he, oh, he's got... He's got a mutation that should help against... Oh, Ripper and Piercer. Minus range resistance and minus 10% critical resistance. That's really bad for us. Yeah, that guy hurts a lot, so that was probably a mistake. <laughs> we'll see. So where's that last Dark Soul? Yeah, you can't do anything, unfortunately. That's really the big unfortunate. Um, but I still have to engage here. Let's do this. And we've got 80% to hit him. 
he should probably get one or two no P to get some normal counter attacks, so please hit him more. Come on. He's over a third dead already. So he's at half almost, I think. That I ran into all those traps is really a big deal, and I should know better. Uh, if he keeps hitting up Leander, that should be okay for now. But then stuff like this happens again. At least he's not doing a lot of attacks. And we didn't get stunned there, which is a big deal. So it looks like he has only Dark Souls. I don't think we have seen a Brethren. And on the initiative letter, I'm only seeing four Dark Souls. And his last guy was a Dark Soul as well, so he will probably have five of them. We'll see. Okay, Narondia. She can go attack that guy as well. Uh, not enough for a sidestep after that, but it's not like we can do anything about that. And we failed the terror test, so only one attack. But at least it's a hit. And we got rid of his dodge already, which is the bigger thing here, I think. But now comes that guy. Does he run? That trap is not active. Okay, he's going for Abrienda. After that charge, he won't have another attack. And the AI actually shouldn't do that. So either give him one weapon and charge, or not charge with two weapons. Oh, hello. Where is he going? So he's charging me as well. And attacking Tunisia. That could take her down. I really hope it won't. Oh, wow. This is so close. And... I probably... Yeah, we should probably go on this guy. Uh, yep, that's what we're doing here. So let's... Nope, won't make it quite, so let's just go here. Good, we succeed our fear test. And let's see what we can do here. The problem is they are basically all immune to all alone tests. And... That's a bit of a problem. At least um, some of our skills won't really help us. So I've got an 82% sniper shot on cast, but I want to do better. I would like to shoot... the impressive if I can 70% sniper shot it should be fine can I make that a little bit better he's behind cover um, yeah won't get better probably please thank you even if it's not a crit again it should help well it not only should it will help and then we'll take our 62 impact shot on him, because 20% is just bad. Maybe an overwatch would have been better, but that's fine as well, I think. Okay, what's with the next Dark Soul? Vilda. We will... yeah, let's go on the Dark Soul. Or maybe, you know what, I would like to take down their Impressive this turn. So we will move Vilda onto the Impressive, even though it's a bit riskier. Uh, because we won't get our parry. But at least we will get, okay, one more attack on him. Every little bit counts. And Aprienda will still get her attacks. So at least we've got that going for us. And do I want to focus on this Dark Soul? Probably. 
and I think we might as well charge. Uh, we don't need to use our special attack, and the charge does a lot of damage. Okay, Web of Steel. And I think we can move in... Oh, hello, Seraphim. Please do your job and do it well. And don't blow yourself up again. Think you can do that? Let's see if we can take down their impressive. That's one. If we can focus on something else with Abrienda, that would be perfect. She's already in contact with... Um, with that Dark Soul. But I won't risk any more, and we are unworthy, so that's it. I'm getting really unlucky with those rolls at the moment, I think. At least from a feelings perspective. Uh, do I want to put Kate in there? Maybe. I would like to go for Sigma's Might. And get everyone, possibly. Not quite. But we probably... Let's still do that. And we fail. So that's not good. A healing circle could work very well as well, but I think Sigma's Might could be better. Okay, this time it worked. And, of course, really, the game just hates me. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's just dandy. Okay, at least I can make my dodge really, really strong. So it's a 95% sidestep. Okay, that was a really slow approach. Let's see. I think we should be able to take down this guy. Assuming we hit him. We need just one more attack. Bye-bye. And let's loot. The dagger. And we will take the stuff from... From Keta as well. At least the items and the wordstone. And can I get around to... Yes, we can. Okay, nice. Hello. A new round has started. Okay, do we get to see what the question mark is? That is their missing hero. Because we haven't seen only one so far. Combat savvy does I don't know what. So I really hope that we can take down their hero here before he takes us down there. And we fail the fear test, so we get one attack, which is pretty bad, and we miss. But at least we present him with another target to attack. But he will most likely focus on our other novice again and take her down. I really hope he won't, but it seems a little bit unlikely. Yep, there it is. Of course. And they keep getting crits, and that it's open wounds, and I don't like that. <laughs> no. Oh, he didn't even dodge, we just missed. And now he dodged. So that was a quick one. And Luke Miller can reload, we can just, yep. We do have a straight shot at this guy. 
So let's just try to take him down. I think. Goodbye. Yep. And there it is. Okay, they are not quite there yet, but maybe we can put them below routing already. There's one more Dark Soul that's really close, and we have four more guys going. Gelts, I should probably say. Okay, yeah. I still don't like what happened again, but we can't do anything about that. So, this guy. Hello. And we still are terrorized, or whatever we should call it, so we only get one attack. And I probably want to loot her stuff as well. It says that it's only used for bounty objectives and has no value. I don't know. Let's take her hammer and then move on this guy. Yep, I think we should be able to take him down. It depends on a few f factors, of course, but I don't know. So one comet should be okay, and I'm getting really nervous about casting at the moment because we blew ourselves up twice in two missions. And that's not how I would like to do this. Uh, but we can, of course, also go for close combat. <laughs> And she actually deals a good amount of damage there as well. And we are a shining light in the darkness. <laughs> yep. Oh wow, another crit, so more open wounds. That's just nice. And let's just take down this guy first. Goodbye. And in case they don't route, we can start working on this guy. I mean, we will be able to take him over half health down. Oh, hello. That's what I was waiting for. A new round has started. And they failed their check. Okay. <laughs> that sounded a little lonely cheer. Okay. F nice amount of wordstone at least, so I really hope that she that the injuries will be okay this Blessed time. Are the triumphant. And that it won't be so harsh again. <laughs> Task completed. Maybe? Probably not, because we didn't get the optional objective. Full recovery. Good. Really good. Light wound. Light wound. Burst eardrum. We don't care about that. Light wound. And we acquired some stuff we looted off corpses. Well, not corpses, but you know what I mean. And we go from 33 up to 125. Nice. Let's pay treatment. And then we'll pay the warband. And give them their stuff back. So she got the maze and... Probably the shield? Didn't you have a purple one? I don't know. Uh, steel for critical resistance sounds good. And she will get her big hammer back. 
Okay, so a little bit of downtime again, two days, and we don't really have the reserve to um, ignore that, unfortunately. Um, so what I would like to do is send another shipment, but to whom? Let's take a look. We are at rank 2 right now. Who do we want to get up to rank 3 next? So primary fa or primary faction is probably not that big of a deal. Sigma's Haven could be good for the skill discount. But Brigginsburg, it's strength discount. But I still think Sigma's Haven is probably for the best. So let's send everything there. Uh, it will take a very long time before we get there. But we should send it right away. Okay, let's advance one day. The shipment, so we have been rewarded. And we have been paid in full, so we get a lot of money again. Uh, we need to go one more day, and now we get new hired swords. New hired swords. That was, I was, not, not, not the shop. The hired swords, so... There are several rank 5 Sister Superiors now, so that's good. Let's see. Severed Lack. No thank you. Brain Trauma. And Concussion. No thank you. That we might be able to live with, but let's check the rank 4 one. And I think we will take that one. Oh, and we can buy a rank 7 Sister. That I like a lot. So I will do that, definitely, and level her up uh, off-camera. But we will definitely buy her. Um, let's see. She won't be able to disengage because of Amok. Is that a problem? I think not. We It, it could come into effect, but we usually don't disengage with the sisters, more with the novices. I think. Uh, so it should be okay. So we will get her. And I I will debate and think if I want to take the rank 4 Sister Superior or not. We don't have to decide right away. But her we will get. We will definitely get. Okay. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more more time, just subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you tune in next time and have a nice day. Bye.